What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode two of the RNS Rewind here with my man Bobby Mack. We're at Hickory, America's uh, favorite short track, NASCAR's home track for cars tour round number what three? three. We three, three. into uh, this year. Number well, I guess two. it's two. Yes, it's two. two. We got yeah. rained out at New River. Yeah. So round two, episode two. So we're here today at Hickory. One of our teammates, Bobby, talk about it. Uh, the governor had a little misfortune. Yeah, the governor had a. Uh... Uh, unfortunate play of events with the throttle stop uh, Wednesday, but um, the team Kate, worked yeah, all night. Yeah, and uh, Caden and them, um, Packer and all them, let us uh, bar the 17 car. Um, so we're uh, we got Deke in a red and white car this weekend, and uh, it seems to be doing pretty good. So thankful to Packer and all them, and the whole 17 bunch, Jody and all those guys for stepping up and letting Deke bar the car, and hopefully we can. Uh, have a good run like we did at Orange. So let's take time. Let's shoot on over there, talk to the governor, and see what he's thinking driving a new car. All right, Deke, you had a little misfortune the other day in uh, in practice, so you weren't able to bring your primary car here. Yeah. So uh, you got Caden Honeycutt's car yeah, from yeah. Uh, Southern National. Talk about that, because I seen you adjusting the belts a while ago, <laughs> getting used to everything. It's, yeah, it's like yeah. putting on a new pair of shoes, I that's imagine. Right, that's right, I chose a fast car, that's for sure, one I chased last weekend, so uh, just, Huge thank to you know, Kenneth and Sandy Packer for uh, allowing us to you know, use their car this weekend. We uh, had some misfortune, like you said, Wednesday, and we couldn't quite get it fixed in time. Um, but everybody up in RNS just uh, been working their tails off, working a lot of overtime to make sure the car. Oh, it's burning the midnight oil. Big time, yeah. I mean, everybody just stepped up and just went to work. And I feel helpless sitting at the house. You know, I can't do a whole lot, so I sent my daughter up there to help out one day. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's all good, man. We're going. Um, like I said, have a good run with this car today and get out here with a good solid finish. Try to try to stay up in points and keep the momentum going. Keep continuing going. that championship because yeah, you've keep, always ran good here at Hickory. Yeah, we haven't been bad. I, I, I'm better in the race. Like I tell everybody, i got to have that rabbit to chase, you know, in the race. And I always race really good. Just, you know, qualifying ain't been so hot here lately. You know, last year we had to take a provisional. But, uh, I mean, it's just a, the competition and times are so close. Everybody knows that. So if we can get in the top 10 or top 12, I'll be really happy with a, with a qualifying effort today and just have a good finish. All right, Mac, everybody liked the track walk with three time last week. So, man, let's take a track walk here. There's another place you get around good here. Yep, we do okay here. You um, get in the gas quicker than anybody I know in qualifying come in between one and two. I don't even think you really let off. Yeah, I think uh, I might be rushing the throttle just a little bit. But, um, we got a really good turning race car. When that thing gets in there and just pivots, man, you just... You got to go. You want to throw it to it. Sometimes you got you to gotta back off. But, uh, no, it's... Uh, it's a war out racetrack. It's a bumpy racetrack. Very um, bumpy. Yeah. But it's got new bathrooms. It's got new bathrooms and it's got a new infield. Um, I almost well, brought a mouthpiece. Yeah, you need a <laughs> mouth guard like playing football. Yeah. Mike, let's start this track walk. Right. Get y'all a look. We got a little concrete right there. Just a touch. <laughs> a small <laughs> touch. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it still bounces a little bit. Yeah. Um, we got some patches kind of everywhere. Getting into threes, a little bumpy. Um, Exit of fours. What about that new asphalt they put in the pits? I seen the entrance. I seen some cars sticking the left front down there. You yeah, one of those yeah. guys? Uh, sometimes. You know, we got parked on the back stretch, so. Uh, yeah, you back here in the street stock parking yeah, this I, week. I, I'm in the low rent section. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get to hang out on the new asphalt. Yeah. Uh, but no, nah, I mean the the changes they made look great. I wish uh, I wish they'd have fixed you know a little of these spots a little bit. Um, exit of four, entry to one could have used a little. Um, grinding just kind of calm it down a little bit but um, that's why we love hickory it's got a ton of character um so this is what you want yeah a ton of character and new bathrooms that's right so i want to come up to the driver's man. meeting of course my driver's standing so in the back not listening in the past if someone had jumped the restart <laughs> is that what we doing? had on the yellow it is now time for the rns question of the week where we will go around and ask all the rns race car chassis drivers a, the same question this week's question is do you wear your own racing apparel i wear my own racing apparel because it don't bother me at all because i work hard for it you know so but everybody's got a different opinion so let's go find out what everybody's opinions are oh lord man that's a good question i we went to bristol for the first time one year and i just had some shirts made and i went strutting in there with my own shirt and my cousin Bradley, he's like, what are you doing? I was like, what do you mean? He said, you don't wear your own shirt. So I didn't know. <laughs> so it was new. So from then, I never wore another one. And then I heard somebody the other day was cracking on another driver for wearing their uh, their own apparel. So, yeah, it's, uh, 
I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I, you know, I, I guess some people know. Uh, they think they know who they are, and that's, you know, they ain't got to do it. Other people know who they are. So yeah, that's a that's a new one on me. So I didn't do that anymore. <laughs> uh, I do not. Most because sometimes I don't like showing kind of where I am, but also it. I just don't want to be like, oh, I'm all by myself. So I try to make sure I don't end up being like that. <laughs> No, I don't. I've never been that guy, but I'd like to people like to think that people know who the hell I am. So I don't think I need to wear it. Um, but now I got sponsors and stuff too. So I always, so I got my Sterling hat on. I got my Caswell glass hoodie on. Um, I'm trying to get one of these dump truck shirts right here to represent our dump trucks that we're piloting around. But um, no, no, I don't. And uh, the VP of marketing hasn't made me. Where? <laughs> uh, you know, I do have a sweatshirt that says like 2019 Rookie of the Year with my name on it that I do wear quite often. I actually wear it to work. Um, but I can't say that I really wear my own merchandise. You know, we have these uh, nice crew shirts here. They have TTR on them. That yeah, everybody gets nice. to wear. So, uh, I don't know. I guess you could say I wear it, uh, you know. But if I don't, then I don't know. I just, I'm in it. So, I don't know. No. If you wear your own shirt, I don't know, I, I, I wouldn't want to get caught in one of my shirts. One, like, if they don't know who I am, sometimes that's a good thing. <laughs> and if they do know who I am, then most of the time, it's also a good thing, but sometimes it could be bad. But I just feel like, kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's like an unwritten rule. You just don't wear your own merch. They're like, I don't know. And this coming from caught. a merchandise guy. Yeah, I sell a lot of merchandise, but I don't wear none of it. Now, if it says Huffman Racing on it, like my hoodie, it had Huffman Racing logo on the front, and the back got a 75 with my signature. I wear that because that's like my team hoodie. But if it says Landon Huffman on it, hell no, I ain't doing it. Can't do it. I wear a Boo Carlisle shirt. <laughs> I would be wearing my own racing apparel, but Landon Huffman, we just got him in this week, so go across the street and get you some tonight. <laughs> I do, probably not as much as I should. Um, I do. Um, but I will say I'm not big on wearing a lot of other drivers apparel that are like in the big time. Like I, I you, you won't see me wearing a Chase Elliott shirt, but I'll wear an Ashton Higgins shirt all day. I'll probably wear that more than I wear my own gear. So I'm big on supporting like my, my buddies racing shirts more than I am my own. No, I don't. I mean, when you're racing for a team, I feel like you got to represent the whole team, not just yourself. So it's kind of a hard one to answer, but it really ain't. I've uh, I've wore I've wore. Uh, Sorry, my wife's texting. <laughs> Let me see what she says real quick. <laughs> oh, she said I washed and dried one of my Sharpies. So, <laughs> and it's killed. Well, at least no water for that yeah, one. At least the washing machine ain't killed, right? Um, I've I've wore some some of my apparel some of the times, but I haven't really thought about it. I heard it's kind of bad luck if you wear it. But you know, I've heard that. I think you told me Bobby says he's got it under control, so I'm gonna I'll roll with what he said. I just ain't gonna say it. Oh uh, man, we have some good answers, some funny answers, but uh, but let us know in the comments below if uh, if you're a racer, do you wear your own racing apparel? I know it's kind of a uh, a touchy subject for some people. You ain't supposed to wear your own, as you heard some guys say. But uh, shoot, I work hard for it. Like uh, nobody else is gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it. I'm proud of me. But enough about that. Let's get on to qualifying. It's the governor, Deke's daughter. Let's check out, uh, if we can, Deke's selfie from this morning. Hey, Deke's starting to get a little bit more into this social media thing. Let's go over here and ask Deke about it. Deke! <laughs> Deke, you taking selfies in the bathroom mirror now? <laughs> Come on, Mike Mark! Keep standing in the middle. Now, Mark is over there excited about basketball. You taking selfies. Yeah, hanging around Bobby and all his teams and stuff. Uh, yeah, changing me around a little bit. So. <laughs> okay, we can make a social Bobby. media star out of you, you after all. This one in there. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> this was his face when he was heading straight for the wall on Wednesday. <laughs> oh gosh, you got jokes, see? Uh, we're having a good time with it. Just uh, so you know, yeah, trying to have fun and yeah, you make, make everybody laugh. Yeah. So that's what it's all about. <laughs> Big daughter on the racetrack with her bicycle. About as fast Deke is. All right, I got in trouble. She kept running. They gonna call the law. What'd that guy say? To get off the track. Get off the track. 
<laughs> Big she act just like you. Exactly, yeah. Little officer. <laughs> yeah, we cannot figure out where, where she came from. Does your mama act like that? No, no. They you, said she did when she was young, but you the governor. If you're gonna get votes, we're gonna calm her down. Yeah, I know. We're gonna we're gonna tie her up with a chain over here like a dog. <laughs> Somebody give Deke some tips on how to qualify here. All right, so you're gonna to want to turn there. Turn there, we're not gonna go straight for the wall again. <laughs> That's about all I got. Deke, we weren't gonna talk about the wreck. She just goes for I was just gonna say go get the pole, but yeah, that too. <laughs> the wall you hit down there, don't do it again. Spin the tires. Oh yeah, make sure you spin the tires going off. Yeah, Bobby Mack said you ain't the best at spinning the tires. No, he takes off like a funeral driver. Yeah, literally. It's pit it's pitiful to watch. It's it's god awful. All right, I'm Deke, no John Force burnout, but at least turn the tires over. Just just I'm just a little bit. Like that's all I'm asking. I'm Deke, what would you do without two all know it all daughters? Nah. I know. There's no telling. And then, you know what you're going to do for the race? Hold on. We're on camera now. for the autograph session now the fans get to come down go check out our rookie see how he's doing today Bobby Mack they just cut him loose here they come the fan what when they go down there and talk to a rookie about said there's a little hotel fun yeah, happened so, uh, I don't I don't know what went on Tracy asked if I need a hotel room I was like no nah, I'm staying with Logan because he had said hey I got this room you can stay with me I said all right perfect so we get to the hotel yesterday 
And we're standing there and standing there, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? This is taking entirely too long to check in. So I finally asked. He is said, he old enough to get he's a He's old enough, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He said, well, um, I, got a, I got us a room for next weekend. I said, next weekend? He was like, yeah. I'm like, well, what are we going to do about this weekend? He said, I'm trying to see if I got room. They didn't have room. Of course they, they did. They did not have any room. So well, luckily, Deke and them had an extra room. So we had a, a hotel room. But... Oh, oh I'm man, hey, hey, the boss is here. <laughs> the best cook in North Carolina. So y'all got a place to stay we tonight? We ended up with the place to stay, yeah, but I'm like, Logan, what are you doing? Man? At least you got a room for next week. Yeah, like, he's all the time giving me hell about, you know, being more responsible and stuff, but I mean, I know what days we're racing. You know what I mean? Like, I won't, yeah. I won't mix that up, so whatever. I'll man. go down there and ask yeah, him to see what, ask see what kind of lie he yeah, tells. Yeah, you need to. Hey, all right, the rookie. Rolling off 23rd night, 150 laps. Going to be a long road ahead. But uh, before we talk about that, what's this about a hotel and you and Bobby Mack showing up and didn't have a room? You just got your dates mixed well, up? Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, we'll be making a trip next weekend. Uh, we're going to drive from Goodyear to Hickory back and forth every night because uh, that's where our hotel's at. Okay, so four and a half hours to the hotel. Yeah. I, ain't, yep. ain't, I hope you got a good yep. rate. And we slept in the truck last night because, you know, our hotel's for next weekend. <laughs> so... All right, man, rolling off 23rd night after a decent night of sleep in the pickup truck. What uh, What's the plan? Uh, you know, just kind of take it how it comes. Uh, we want to keep keep the tires under us, but also get some track position. So, like you said, we got a long ways, 150 laps. Uh, just got to do it right and hopefully be there at the end. Hey, man, we haven't been able to find Logan's. He at Tri-County waiting on driver intro since he books uh, hotels at wrong racetracks? Probably so. He's probably at the wrong damn place right now. <laughs> Where is he? Governor's looking for him. He's worried death about him. We ain't seen him. Yeah, call him if he's over at Tri County, over at Higgins Place. What'd you change it to, rookie? No, don't tell how his no, family don't showed. Don't, don't, don't tell everybody what no, it's changed. not. It's not like that. <laughs> hey, yep. hey, that's pro late models. Logan, you next. Go. Rolling off 23rd in the pro late model race. Logan, over here. Yeah, we're we're. Yeah. Logan, pro light models. We're, we're, we're. I saw Katie at Mexico. You and Amber are perfect. Katie messed me up. My heart. 23rd in the pro late model race, Logan Clark. We're on like number 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting at the rear tonight. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. The, <laughs> <stomach hurt. laughs> the governor's uh, the ribs are hurting. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I figured they sent you over. I'm like, yeah, no, dude, you missed the 23rd. That was a long time ago. <laughs> and then I heard him pass back. Oh. Logan tried to go 23rd in the pro late model race because Bobby told him. I saw Katie up here. I just started hollering, you next. You next. And he took off. If Bobby got you out that tunnel, I would have left. I was following you all the way. I was dedicated. I was like, we're going. He was. He was following you no, you called me and I knew I was late because I, I forgot think, all about honestly, it. Honestly, I think you should go out and see how many times you can go without someone noticing. Oh my gosh. I just made that up. How nervous is it? Heart rate still racing? My heart is still racing. <laughs> I wish I had my watch on. Oh, I'm, at, I'm at 96 from laughing so long. <laughs> we go get in line now, Logan. You'll go first, 23rd. The governor's 20th. Oh. I got smoke machines coming. <laughs> you gotta get some like red and lights. And Already stuff. got those on the way. <laughs> I knew you did. Do I wave in the tunnel or out the Wave in the tunnel. Logan did it. I mean, it worked. Well, we've had a lot of fun today, but it is finally time to go 150 lap cars tour racing for round two. 
Here at Hickory Motor Speedway, the Pro Late models are about to finish up, so let's go get all the guys in the cars buckled up, ready to go. Want to get a little ants in your pants? It's cold, man. And a little chilly in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I know. Cut through this suit is so cold. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if nerves were starting to get to Bobby Mike. No, I'm trying to keep my blood pumping, so I stay warm. There you, you go. Watch if I tell you that when I get out, I still be sweating. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know, steam coming sweating. off. It well, is, you know yeah. it's beer 30 at yeah, that point. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yes. Yeah. It's, it's getting about that time. I had a feeling that uh, that pro race was going to take a couple hours. You called it. You said when they start wrecking, they'll keep wrecking. You don't think it's going to roll over into your counterparts out no, here, No, no, we don't race with 12-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> <God. laughs> I, mean, I what, hate to be blunt, but that's uh, just yeah. what happens. What, you, know? what, you too, buddy. What they say earlier? They see a wreck and say, "Well, I need oh, to go get in that yeah, too." Yeah, yeah. Like, hold on, I'm coming. I forgot all about the brake pedal. I just seen the wreck and I <laughs> dove in there. Parking brakes. Hey man, car starting, you better get in. Oh shoot, we're gonna be behind, that's all right. Get them all clicked in. Whoever's first is probably pissed right now. Why is that? Because they the only one that was ready. <laughs> <laughs>
Logan, man. You was moving up through the field there for a while, made it all the way up the 10th on the restart. Uh, tell us what happened. Yeah, uh, just kind of had a rough up and down night up until that point. Uh, finally got some track position with, I guess, it was probably 30 to go or something. Uh, and then 57 just tried to wreck us once going into one. He didn't do it then, so then he tried again on exit, and we ended up in the fence. Um, so I'm glad y'all got your entertainment when I couldn't make it to driver intros, because this is not as entertaining. But, uh, I mean, as always, a good effort by my RNS crew. Uh, we'll try again at Goodyear. All right, Governor. It was looking prom <laughs> it was looking promising there at the beginning. You was picking them off, moving up. Yeah. Tell us what happened. Yeah, we were rolling there pretty good there to start, and the car was just. I mean, I feel like I said I figured we'd race good. And we were, man. It was uh, it was digging hard, and just uh, come off turn two, and boom, <laughs> nothing. It cut off. Lost all my gauges, and I said, man, what in the world? They wouldn't start back up, and then started smoking out the MSD box. So we rolled in here and. Had another one ready, just didn't have it wired up and everything. So it took us a while to get all that wired up and lost some laps. I went back out just to just to see, you know, you know, we're running for points. Anything can happen, and I'm um, just hoping some guys will fall out. I think we got maybe one or two spots. But, yeah, know, they we, started running into each other pretty good. Yeah, there. yeah I mean, it might add up at the end, but we didn't want to give up on it. But what a car, man! This thing was a uh, this thing was a rocket ship. Just can't thank Kenneth Packer and everybody at RNS for uh, all their hard work. Um, it's been a rough week, but hey. That's racing. Yeah, I've been through it before, so we'll get ready for uh, New River next weekend and get back and uh, get us in. Well, that'll put an end to the second episode of round two of the Cars Tour, second episode of RNS Rewind. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, we're trying to find a groove, see what works for us, what don't work for us. But let's know in the comments below what you like and what you don't like. But other than that, we'll see you next weekend at a New River All American Speedway. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care.